Welcome back to Arts Exposed with Tim Moss. Yay! Hey! I am here with three. I love these guys. Love these guys. Um, the producers and directors of All God's Creatures, which we have talked to before. Um, we have Brian Charles, uh, Matt Jarrett, and Josh Fulman here. I guess you say hello since it's a radio. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> hello. 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 Okay. <laughs> Physical gestures don't translate. Yes, that's that true. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Fantastic. Uh, a lot better than the last time we spoke. Yeah? <laughs> well, how about you, Ryan? All things considered, quite well. Excellent. Well, last time we talked, um, I believe you had just put it into post. And uh, we're just about finished, right? Exactly. <laughs> so we thought. So we thought. Exactly the case. Or, uh, yeah, that's what we thought. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> I mean, basically, well, where we are at, we are at Final Cut A, and uh, I think Ryan can sort of better explain Final this. Final Cut A. Well, well, well it makes, it's basically twofold. Basically, we, we are now where we said we were eight or nine months ago. <laughs> where, we thought, um, where we thought we were. Thought we were. Yeah, it was right. an exactly. intentional fabrication. Yes. <laughs> so we really thought we were there. It wasn't our fabrication. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But anyway, uh, that's a quarter of the bridge. Um, but yes, basically we are at um, Final Cut number A due to our um, stupidity of not following that golden rule of cinema of make sure you have a complete picture lock before you start sound editing. Um, so basically what had to happen was uh, I've been working on the final cut of the movie, which I will call Final Cut A, that has been being submitted into film festivals and uh, sc screener copies for different people, um, sans final sound. So now, actually, when we get the final, final sound back in about four or five days, I will now have to go back to an earlier version of the film and begin editing it over again, basically, to get back to the point where we are now. Oh, <laughs> which okay. it, it might sound incredibly excruciatingly tedious and like hours and hours of work and a huge pain in the ass. And it is. And it is. Yeah. Um, and but I think that you know I went through this to learn to never do it again. Um, yeah, right. I, exactly. I, I know my lesson now. So. I was just used to doing it all myself, so I never had to worry about getting sound Works back from it. And yeah. uh, my previous two feature films and all the shorts I've ever done, I used to do the sound myself, so I could just edit it and change things as I went along, and I wouldn't have to worry about anything. Um, but this time around, it was just a whole new ball game, and um, certain things happen with certain sound editors along the way that certainly, how can you say, um, Blew it along. Prolonged and blew it all okay. more out of proportion than it would have been. Uh, yeah. But we're, we're there. We're getting there. Excellent. Good. That's the, what, what was the, the reaction? I didn't have a beard, so it had to have been when the weather was warm. Oh, boy, I, 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 had, I had shorts and I believe these exact flip flops on. I was going to say, yeah, I think you, yeah, you were dressed very similar. Yeah, yeah. So my hair was must have been, been. So I think it was like August. August. Yeah, August. Yeah, something August. Like that. yeah. So almost a year ago. That's right, because at that time we were anticipating. Uh, from marketing angle, I was anticipating a sort of Valentine's Day release. Well, first we were shooting we had a Christmas time type thing. Then we moved to a Valentine's, the Valentine's Day. Day. Right. Uh -huh. Then I tried to get it done by my birthday, and then it just turned into well. Well, I think May the only, yeah, the only reason reading. that we are getting it done so like when we're getting it done now is because of this acceptance of the yeah. film festival yes. and this new right. film series. Right. Had those catalysts not happened, we would probably still be bumbling along letting the sound editor take his time and what have you. Yeah. Uh, and probably bouncing picture cuts back and forth, you know, ideas and what have you. But now because we have the deadlines, it's really yeah. expensive. Deadlines speed things up to <laughs> they do, they do. And, and and I personally was very against submitting before we had a final cut, obviously, because it compounds problems. Um, but now in retrospect, uh, it was a good move on the producer's uh, side uh -huh. to sort of like that final fire of right. our asses to finish up. Not that we weren't working diligently, but um, instead of doing eight hour shifts on the movie, now I've been pulling all nighters for the last mm -hmm. week. So, wow. so it's just like it's certainly we, gotten it done. Last time we spoke, we talked about how <laughs> this um, jumping the gun, you know, created the forward momentum to ever get it done at all. And right. it's kind of the same. It's sort of how we started the project exactly. from the get-go. Right. So we probably shouldn't have started well. filming when we did. We didn't have everything in line when we should have. The script being... We should have never started pre production right. on the script. The script wasn't was going to get changed along the line. We should have but shot at the same shot. time, we should have never finished editing because we did all of that, it made it less precious. And once it became less precious, we moved forward. 
And I think that there was something going on before this happened where there was a, a preciousness that was happening with all of us. And this happened, it's like, boom, we have to the 25th, what does that mean? Yeah. And then we had to yeah. just act from there. And also I think it's a really great thing, both as filmmakers, uh, my cousin and I, we've talked about it, I'm sure as producers as well, this was really all of our first feature film that yeah. we've ever done. Yeah, exactly. And so it, it much preferable to pull this sort of, you know, bushly kind of shit with our own project than God forbid get hired for a gig or, or get a, a bigger budget type thing and and think that, oh, this is how we do it. Uh, but now we know, no, 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 you don't go to step B until you're done with step A. No matter yeah. what anybody tells you, no matter what you might think is <coughs> a good idea at the time, yeah, no matter what you think you want, you, <laughs> you, you go on step two. Um, right. And that's the way it works. Uh -huh. Well, again, just this is a continuation of the art of making art, which what is what the series that we covered before and what you were doing. It's a continuation of the learning process of how to make an independent film. Exactly. And it's, it seems like you're right on track as far as I'm concerned. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, we're not probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we finally hit where we're ahead of the curve now. You know, we've yeah. been kind of we stumbled back in the clear and we're like, oh, there it is. <laughs>